All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Today, I'm not at the range with the M1911A1, and I'm not talking about this blue silhouette target. What I'm gonna show you is how to make your own military type E silhouette target. Lately, I've done several video projects on alternate qualification courses for the M1 Garand, the M1A, and the 1911 based off past Army field manuals to test and improve your skills, or maybe just some general shooting practices. This can really be done with any semi-automatic pistol or rifle for general practice, but in my demonstrations, I actually did the graded courses. You can purchase military Type E silhouettes commercially, but me being an average guy with average guns, I'm going to show you how to make one. All you really need is black spray paint, white out or white paint, and a large paper surface. In my case, I'm using a cardboard box. You can get as crafty as you want using a black poster board or even just using a brown cardboard box to cut out the target. I tried to do this using simple products you can find around the house. The width of a Type E silhouette is 19 and a half inches by 34 inches tall. First, I mark this area with a tape measure to ensure that I cover a large enough area with the spray paint. A good coat of paint is next. Since we're not painting furniture or a car or a work of art here, I'm not too worried about how sloppy it is, just that there's going to be a good visibility of the target at 25 meters. First thing after the paint dries, and that time varies based on the brand and type of paint that you use, just follow your manufacturer's recommendations. You're going to want to trim the excess material. Next I took a paint marker and a tape measure and made a dot at the bottom and the top 34 inches tall. From there I went 19 and a half inches wide for the width. From each corner I measured up 21 inches on each side. This is the length from the base to the shoulders. The head is 8 inches wide and 9 inches tall. I went 4 inches out each side of the middle dot at the top and went down 9 inches from there for the sides. Now for me, I used a paint marker because it was convenient. For you, anything available to try could work. White out, white paint with a paintbrush, even a white piece of chalk or maybe a white crayon. The sky is the limit. From here, it's just a simple matter of connecting the dots like we learned in school. I freehanded it, especially noting that there's a slight curve from the base of the shoulders to the head. This isn't a work of art, so I'm not too concerned with aesthetics. It's just its function as a visible target at 25 yards. To create the four and five ring scoring areas, I did the same method in connecting the dots. The rings measure three inches from each other, so for the four ring, you'll come three inches from the outside edge of the target. For the five ring, you'll come in three inches from the four ring. Unless you have better vision than me, or a spotter with an optic, you won't be able to see the scoring numbers written on the target. I can't even see them on the manufactured silhouettes unless I'm looking through a scope. But to ease confusion on the final scoring, I go ahead and write the numbers on the target. The final step is to cut the whole thing out. Once you do that, you're good to go and you're ready to go out to the range to attempt an army qualification with your pistol. All of the edges aren't completely carbon copy. As you can see, the shoulders and the head is a little more round than the work that I've done here. But other than that, you're all set. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.